Developing now, the Cincinnati Police Department's homicide unit is investigating a deadly shooting at the banks. It happened overnight. Police say 16 year old Jackie Jackson III was killed. Our Alexis Martin spoke with a community leader about youth gun violence, and she joins us live from District 1 now uh, after speaking to that person. Alexis. Police have not announced any arrest in the deadly shooting. Today I spoke with Ennis Tate, a leader in the youth community, and he said that deadly shootings like these are especially hard for friends for the victim, but they do impact the entire community. They lose someone that's close. It really cuts to the core of their being. And if you're working with them as close as we have been, uh, it affects you as well. Ennis Tate is the lead coordinator for the Positive Force Collaboration. He says he can see changes in the youth he works with, but tragedies like Jackie Jackson III's death shows the work that still needs to be done in the community. And you begin to see the turnaround, you begin to see the transformation, and then all of a sudden you have situations like this. Jackson was shot at Freedom Way and Marion Spencer Way around 2.15 a.m. on Saturday, according to Cincinnati police. He died at the hospital. It's unclear what led up to the shooting. There is a curfew for teens under 15, according to city officials. Tate said it is hard to enforce. Then nine times out of 10, they're not going to comply with any court ordinances or our laws that cause them to, you know, do what uh, come against what they are wanting to do or desiring to do. Tate says we see an uptake in youth violence during the summer and the work to prevent it must be done long before summer. But for, for a city our size, we can't wait until uh, uh, April or May to start putting together a strategy for the summer that has to start in September because of the data as well as the dichotomy that we see between the young people and their parents, the families and their communities and neighborhoods. Tate says support needs to be built for you through the communication of all the different groups in the community working to help them. And so what we're trying to do now as community based organizations is partner, uh, collaborate, talk to each other, share, spend time with each other so that we can be a force working to get more suspect information from Cincinnati police. If you know anything, you should contact CPD or Crime Stoppers. Live in the West End with photojournalist Philip Krinsky, I'm Alexis Martin, Fox 19 Now.